question 359 leak code logger rate limiter so design a logger system that receives a stream of messages along with their timestamps each unique message should only be printed at most every 10 seconds i.e a message printed at timestamp t will prevent other identical messages from being printed until timestamp t plus 10. all messages will come in chronological order several messages may arrive at the same timestamp implement the logger class so logger initializes the logger object bool should print message returns true if message should be printed in the given timestamp otherwise return false so in example one we have an input which runs logger and it runs should print message a number of times underneath we have what is being printed so we have an initial value which is the timestamp and a second value which is the message and if the message is the same as in this case where we have one is equal to foo and then three is equal to foo is the timestamp between three and one 10 or greater if it is then we can return true if it isn't we can return false so how can we solve this well we need to keep track of both the timestamp and the message and one way we could do that is to map the two together right so we could use a map data structure that will store the message and also the timestamp so let's run through this example to see how it would work so we have an empty array to begin with, and that's going to return nothing because we don't have a time or a message to check. We move over to the second array within the array. We have a foo and we have a timestamp of one. We check to see whether foo is in the map. It's not. So we can add it into the map. So we can set foo within the map and its respective timestamp, which is one. And then we can return true because that was able to be printed. Then we move on to the next one. We do the exact same. We check if bar is in the map. It's not, so we can add it into the map and its respective timestamp. And then we can return true here. So here there's going to be true. Here's going to be true. We move over to the next one. We check if foo is in map. Foo is in map. So we need to make an additional check to see whether three is greater than one by 10 or more, in which case it's not. So this one is going to return false. Then we move to the last array within this array. We check to see whether foo is in the map. It is. So we make the additional check to see whether 12 is greater than one by 10 or more, in which case it is. So we return true. So let's write this out. So remember logger is a class and it's initializing the logger object. So we need to use this. So we can say this.map is equal to new map. And then within the method, we need to check if this.map has the message. If it does, we need to make an additional check to check whether the timestamp is less than the respective value of the message plus 10. If it is less, then we return false. Otherwise, we need to set the value within the map. So the message and a timestamp and then we can just return true okay let's give this a run okay it's been accepted let's submit it and there you have it